All right, today we're at the beautiful Babcock State Park. Um, it's in West Virginia, about four hours from my house. Today we have, it's overcast, light rain, and uh, perfect conditions for what we're gonna do. Because now there's no harsh light on the grist mill that we're gonna photograph, and there's, which leaves us really nice shadow detail. And um, hopefully we get some long exposures today, but yeah, uh, it's just a short walk from the parking lot. We're gonna go there and um, get some images. All right. I'm a little bit downstream. Um, there's the grist mill right up there. Uh, I just came down and I was wondering, I was doing some B-roll and I found this little stale creek, little stream between these rocks. And But there's some really nice contrasting red, yellow, maybe there's a green leaf, just really nice leaf, fall color leaf petals. And um, I, th I thought it was kind of out of the ordinary because you got your main grist mill right up there. but. I wanted something a little bit more intimate. I like my, my intimate scenes, it's nice. So uh, I just got my tripod set up very awkwardly, as you can see. It's just very, very unsatisfying. But I'm just framing up my shot. Uh, 50 mil look nice, but I, I, I don't have an adapter ring for it for the polarizer, so I had to opt out for the 24 to 70. All right guys, so I just took a test shot and the only thing I don't like is about the polarizers not working because the sun's too direct. Um, and that's okay. I think I, it doesn't make terribly much of a difference, but I thought it would be a, a nice, I thought it'd be nice to get that glare off the water, but it's not too distracting. So what I did was uh, I'll show you, I got this, uh, just a cluster of leaves here. And right in the middle is uh, an amber or reddish orange leaf and it's pretty much dominating the scene. Um, and right now, oh, I'm at about 70 mil. Um, I bumped my ISO up to 800 so I can get the shutter speed to 1 25th of a second because this is just constantly moving. I don't want any blurry in there. So I had to bump that up to get my shutter speed up. But yeah, I think it's a really nice image. Uh, I also like uh, the subframing of the wall here. It's just going across the screen, just just kind of honing in on these leaves. I think it adds uh, a little bit, something just a little extra there. Um, I'm not sure at this point if I'm gonna crop it in or not so I can get rid of that. I think it's nice at the moment, but we'll see after post, so don't hold me to that subframing. But yeah, this is really nice image. So 1 25th of a second, ISO 800. 70 mil and yeah just something out of the ordinary
All right, so I was trying to wait for the, there's people leaf blowing over there. I was trying to wait for them to cut their motors just so I don't have a lot of noise and it looks like they're pretty much done now. But I just came along, uh, down this path here and as you can see, there's a beautiful mill right behind me, the grist mill. And so we've been here uh, for about an hour now. I move compositions back and forth throughout this little lane here, which is really uh, one of the only compositions you can get of this mill. It's pretty, pretty simple, but very, very effective and beautiful. Um, so right now we've just got a lot of the fall colors just, um, they're diminishing. They're very little right now, um, I'll show you, but over the past week or so they kind of blown away and uh, so now there's a uh, little bit of a scarce leaf on the trees, but we're just waiting for the people down at the bottom to clear out and then we'll take our photo. But right now I'm pretty much uh, set up. I kind of show you is that I got my polarizer on just taking the color off the water. Um, 7200 about about 90 mil, 95 mil and I put a 0.3 soft grad on my in front of my lens just to cover it all as act like an ND filter or like a solid ND filter because um, I only have a 10 stop and a 15 stop but I wanted to bring the whole uh, range down so I can slow the motion of the water and get the nice milky water in the uh, in the composition so yeah I put that 0.3 grad just over the whole lens uh, we're not half of it so uh, yeah when they move the when uh, we get some clear foreground there the people move I'm gonna take the image but uh, yeah, we're just waiting. Really lovely place though. All right, so there was a moment they pretty much cleared. I just took my photo, but now there's one person just kind of going on uh, long. A lot of people behind me just kind of <laughs> lining up on this ridge. But so yeah, I took my photo. I had about um, a fifth of a second, ISO 100, F11. Nice water leading right up to the grist mill. Beautiful fall colors around and just a breathtaking place. So nice here, really, really scenic. That's a, it's a really good one. I'm just walking back from the area back behind me. You might be able to see it, but we were all lined up just taking photos of this mill. It's a beautiful mill behind me here. Um, yeah, just a, you could throw a baseball to where we were standing from the park on that super easy walk, just right around. Um, yeah, I was trying not, not to film. There was two guys leaf blowing all the leaves. Um, so I was trying not to let you hear all that. So now I'm kind of walking away from it all. And um, I got my image. But I don't think it was a very clean video because there was people down there, which is not a problem. I have no problem at all. I was just waiting and more people and more people come. And when I, the time was right to take my photo, I couldn't get the GoPro and everything ready just to film. Sorry about that sloppy video. Yeah, people were all wandering around and I don't blame it. It's a beautiful park, beautiful mill. Um, what I wanted to just kind of go over is what I envisioned coming here and what I wanted to take away was was a very artsy postcardy uh, photo, very soft, very painterly. Try not to make it harsh. Try not to make it sharp, harsh, just soft, glowy, artsy, very postcardish. So that's what I plan on doing. And uh, you've already seen the image. So I'm really, I'm really curious what you think of this place because. I think it's uh, one of the most beautiful places around. Um, uh, I had to drive about four hours to get here, which I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm really, really lucky to get these fall colors. I'm really surprised that they stayed. There was a little bit of a storm the, uh, the past week, and um, you've seen some of the leaves were off that red tree in the foreground. Um, so I'm lucky we still got some color and still got some foliage on these leaves because it is just amazing right now. One last thing I want to talk about in this vlog is that I'm moving. I'm moving across the country to California. Um, this video is probably not going to be released uh, beforehand, uh, if anything after, or right before, uh, hopefully. 
but yeah, so there's gonna be a gap in my content. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep that even or spaced out so it doesn't seem like there's a gap. But yeah, it's big news, and I wanna I wanna tell you guys that I'm no longer gonna be in Pennsylvania, um, and I'm gonna be in the beautiful California, Southern California, and oh, I just can't wait because there's so much to photograph there. We got Death Valley, we have Joshua Tree, Yosemite, uh, just fantastic opportunities uh, out there. So really excited for that. Um, and I wanted to share that with you because uh, at some point or another, you're going to wonder why I'm uh, over there and not back in Pennsylvania if I didn't tell you. So yeah, uh, guys, it wraps up today's vlog. I hope you liked it. Um, today was a really fun day. And guys, uh, like the video. It really uh, helped. Subscribe if you want. I'd appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.